Thanks, Murray. Cheers. Um, folks, I just want to speak to you quickly about the Precision Pastoral Management Tools Project. Um, it's currently sitting under um, Research Program 2 in the Enterprise Development section. And basically, it's really about bringing in greater precision into the management of cattle stations. In essence, what we'd like to achieve out of the Precision Pastoral Management Team is to take the, the work that was developed out of the last CRC, the 21st Century Pastoralism Project, which developed the remote livestock management system, and we'd like to harness that with some of the technology that's around for grazing land management and be able to combine the two to create what we're calling a precision pastoral management system. So that's a bit of an ethos as to what, what we're trying to achieve, but I'll just try and explain that a little bit to you guys because I realise I'm probably speaking in a fair bit of cattle industry jargon, so I'll just try and break it down a little bit. Um, in the last thing I see, uh, one of the outputs was the remote livestock management system. The remote livestock management system allows you to manage individual cattle and uh, to weigh them on a daily basis at times through a system that's created, that has an accuracy around 98%. So 98% of the times the cattle passing through there, it's an accurate measurement on their weight. The system can also draft cattle remotely without any individuals being present. And that drafting is around 95% accuracy. So out of every 100 animals, 95 of them will get drafted into the right pen. That's with no people being present at all. So it has a huge advantage for large extensive cattle stations. Some of the technology we're talking around grazing land management, that's looking at pasture health and pasture growth. We, we're looking at trying to, if we can get an individual count on the number of head of cattle at a watering point, and we know their weights, if we know how, what their weights are, we know what their intake of grass is going to be. If we can harness some of the technology around um, pasture management, which will tell us how much pasture's growth has grown, um, that's going to give us hopefully a more efficient system and, and hopefully an economically beneficial system. Basically, this is the remote livestock management system. Um, this part here is the cattle weighing component and then this silver bit is the auto drafter. So at a watering point for cattle, the animal, at, once it's finished drinking, passes out the trap gate over the weight. Every animal in Australia will now have an electronic ear tag. That gets read. Once there's four feet on the platform, bang, that's its weight. Then once it goes through here, the drafter, based on its ear tag, we could say we want to keep it because we're planning to truck or we can um, let it go back out into the paddock. So the advantages with this system, because we're now able to get a daily weight on the animals, we can monitor their performance. Um, so are they gaining weight? Are they losing weight? If that animal starts to lose weight, why is it lost weight? Is it because there's a disease present? Do we need to look at giving them another form of supplement to increase their weights or do we need to change paddocks? Um, it also, because every animal has to pass through here, we get a count on how many head are at that watering point. A lot of station managers currently don't know how many head accurately are watering at one point. So that's, that's an advantage. The other one is we can get a calving date for any cow that calves. Basically, when a cow drops 50 kilos over the summer months, we can say that she's dropped a calf. So, and we can get that within a week of her calving. Uh, the other component is what we're calling pedigree matchmaker. So when a cow and calf walks through this system continuously, we're um, after about seven passes able to say that calf belongs to that cow. So we're actually bringing in what we refer to as stud management systems into an extensive cattle uh, herd or a commercial herd. So that's pretty exciting technology. The auto drafter, as I said, allows us to draft for sale cattle, it also allows us to wean, so take the baby calves off the mums without anyone being present. Uh, it also allows us to do a targeted supplementary program. So if we had um, young females who are about to get joined for the first time, we're finding their body weight isn't up to, up to scratch, we can draft them into a separate pen, obviously it would be a lot larger than this one in the image, um, and give them a boost of supplement that'll help them carry their weight. Uh, and as I mentioned before, we can also draft off sale cattle. So that's what what came out of the last CRC and that's what we're hoping to continue working with into the future. The next component is the current technology around for grazing land management. So for producers at the moment, these are the tools that are available for them. So they have mapping programs. This is um, ArcGIS, which some of you are probably familiar with. Uh, and then this is a similar program, Phoenix, and it's where producers can go about, do their mapping on their stations, get area sizes for their paddocks, so on and so forth. Um, then we've also got some of the remote sensing tools. 
This image hasn't come out very well, but this is a greenness index out of the MODIS satellite. Uh, the green represents where there's green pasture. The blue represents, it's very hard to see, I'm sorry. Um, the blue represents where there's um, bare ground and the red represents where there's dry ground. Um, so that's, that's one tool. Another tool that's been developed that's been around for about 10 years or so um, is Veg Machine, which again helps with monitoring the health of the landscape and putting it into a commercial component for producers to manage themselves. This image down here relates to North Australian fire website and the little blue dots are where there's been fires. I took this only about three or four days ago, so the images, are, those blue dots are probably only a week old. So that's where there's fires occurring at the moment. So these tools here will tell you what's happening on the ground at the moment. The next lot of tools that are around talk about how much pasture growth potentially could be out in the area. So this image here relates to the last summer. The blue uh, relates to the amount of pasture that's grown, so it's a very high proportion of pasture. Um, and this is assuming if the, if the health of the country is very large, this is how much pasture would grow. So that's one product that's produced called Aussie grass. This is another product that uses the same sort of modelling, but it's just presented in a different format. So it talks about total dry standing matter, talks about ground, ground cover, talks about annual rainfall, and talks about annual pasture growth. So you can compare it in a historical perspective. So this year, we're talking about it's been a one in 30 year rainfall event, so a one in 30 year pasture growing event. So those are the tools that help producers to estimate how much pasture could be out there. This uh, database system here is called StockTake. It actually helps producers to calculate how much pasture is available for their cattle, what the condition of their country is, and also keep that management of the data so that they can compare their estimates over time. So these are some of the tools that have been around in the industry for about 10 years or so for some of the old ones. What we're really questioning in this project is, well, if there's all these great grazing land management tools, how are producers using them? From my discussions so far to date is there's not a lot of producers using all these tools. So the next lot of questions is, why aren't they? What's not working? What do they like about these, these programs? What does work? How can we make it work better for them? Do we need a new product or not? Um, so that's sort of the discussion I want to have in the next um, six weeks or so with various producers from Western Australia, Queensland, and I've commenced speaking with some in the Territory here just to talk about what they like about these programs and whether what we're talking about with a precision pastoral management system will actually work. So that probably covers me. Thank you. <laughs>